Good evening and welcome to the Thursday, October 24, 2024 meeting of the Lakeville Planning Board. It is 7 p.m. and we are meeting at the Lakeville Police Station meeting room at 323 Bedford Street. We do have a full board this evening. Um, we have Lake Cam recording. Is anyone else recording? Hearing none, um, we do have agenda item number one, public hearing number one to amend the town code zoning bylaw section 270-2.1 terms defined by adding to frontage the minimum required frontage must be contiguous and suitable for development of an access route or driveway to the building site votes to be taken the lakeville planning board will hold a public hearing pursuant to the lakeville town code zoning bylaw and mass general law chapter 40a section 5 on thursday october 24 2024 at 7 p.m at the lakeville police station meeting room 323 bedford street the purpose of the public hearing is to provide interested parties with an opportunity to comment on proposed amendments to the lakeville town code zoning bylaws as follows our public hearing number one this article would amend the lakeville town code zoning bylaws section 270-2.1 terms defined by adding to frontage that portion of a lot which is bounded by the street line or way the sidelines and the minimum uh, building setback line the minimum required frontage must be contiguous and suitable for development of an access route or driveway to the building site all right, do I have a motion to open this public hearing? I'll make a motion to open the public hearing. Second. Motion and a second, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, this public hearing is open and the full text of this article it reads, it will be article 17, uh, to amend the Lakeville Town Code zoning bylaws section 270-2.1 terms defined by amending the definition of frontage as shown below with additions shown in bold. Frontage, that portion of a lot which is bounded by the street line or way, the sidelines and the minimum building setback line. The minimum required frontage must be contiguous and suitable for development of an access route or driveway to the building site. So we're literally adding um, four words, minimum required, contiguous, and. This came about after reviewing an A&R plan earlier this year. We thought that it was um, prudent to get the contiguous added back in because that had been removed at some point from the uh, definition. Does anyone have anything to add? Does anyone have any questions, comments regarding this? All right, if not, I'd say let's um, make a motion to recommend approval to town meeting and close the hearing. Okay, I'll, I'll make a motion to recommend the uh, amendment to uh, we're going to town meeting. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And to close that public hearing. Do we have to close it? Yes. Good to vote. I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Motion and second. a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, public hearing number two. This article would amend the Lakeville Town Code zoning bylaws section 270-2.1 terms defined by adding a Defi definition for accessory dwelling unit ADU and establishing criteria to amend section 270-6.7 site plan review C applicability by adding seven new construction of a single accessory dwelling unit ADU to amend section 270-7.4 special permits B by adding accessory dwelling units ADUs A special permit granting authority board of appeals B, construction of more than one ADU on a single lot shall require a special permit from the Board of Appeals for guidance of the Acts of 2024, Chapter 150. The balance of the section will re be renumbered accordingly. And do we have a motion to open this hearing? I'll make a motion to open the public hearing. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. The full text of article 16 is to amend the Lakeville Town Code zoning <coughs> bylaws section 270-2.1 terms defined section 270-6.7 site plan review section 270-7.4 special permits by adding a definition for accessory dwelling unit ADU and adding other criteria as shown below with additions shown in bold we have section 270-2.1 terms defined accessory dwelling unit ADU a self-contained housing unit inclusive of sleeping cooking and sanitary facilities on the same lot as a principal dwelling 
subject to otherwise applicable dimensional and parking requirements that I maintains separate entrance either directly from the outside or through an entry hall or corridor shared with the principal dwelling sufficient to meet the requirements of the state building codes for safe egress two is not larger in gross floor area than half the gross floor area of the principal dwelling or 900 square feet whichever is smaller and three is subject to such additional restrictions as may be imposed by a municipality including but not limited to additional size restrictions and restrictions or prohibi prohibitions on short-term rental as defined in sessions law acts of 2024 chapter 150 section 1 of chapter 64 g provided however that no municipality shall unreasonably restrict the creation or rental of an accessory dwelling unit that is not a short-term rental there's also addition uh, under site plan review to number seven for new construction of a single accessory dwelling unit adu and then under our section 270-7.4 special permits um i guess it's to be determined which yeah, the number number um under accessory dwelling units a special permit granting authority is board of appeals uh, b construction of more than one adu on a single lot shall require a special permit from board of appeals so all of, all of that is provided by the state that's their definition that they have handed down and we're basically incorporating it into our zoning bylaws so um, it gives someone who's interested in it a place to start there is um, supposed to be guidance further coming and as it comes out we may have to uh, bring something back in spring to add change etc based mm -hmm. on any of that state guidance does anyone else have anything to add at this point no anyone from the public have anything you'd like to say no? all right so i'll make a motion to uh to recommend this to be taken to town meeting second all right we have a motion and a second all in favor aye, aye. 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 and you want to close that public hearing i'll make a motion to close the public hearing second motion and a second all in favor aye, aye. 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 public hearing number three this article would amend the lakeville town code Zoning bylaw section 270-2.1, terms defined by amending the definition of accessory building or use to add the word structure. To amend section 270-6.3 as follows, accessory buildings, structures, and uses. To amend section 270-6.3 and add the following text, C, no accessory building larger than allowed under section 270-6.3C, one shall be located on a lot used residentially unless a special permit is granted by the zoning board of appeals where a special permit is sought under law section 270-7.4b for an accessory building larger than allowed on a lawfully pre-existing non-conforming lot the zoning board of appeals shall additionally make a finding that the accessory building shall not be substantially more detrimental to the neighborhood than the existing non-conformity to add under section 270 dash 6.3 see the following one a listing of the maximum aggregate of accessory building size by minimum lot area to amend section 270-6.3 and add the following text d no accessory building larger than 1500 square feet may be located closer than 40 feet from any property line on a lot used residentially to amend section 270-7.4 by adding the following new section accessory building larger than allowed under section 270-6.3 c 1. a special permit granting authority board of appeals all districts b the board of appeals may impose certain restrictions including but not limited to size height distance to property lines and or number of buildings the balance of the section will be renumbered accordingly have a motion to open that hearing i'll make a motion to open the public hearing second. Second. motion and a second all in favor aye, aye. aye. so oof, this one's a bit lengthy i don't know if we want to waive the reading of and or should we just yeah jump down to the maximum aggregate yeah i, I would. think everything else was basically covered yeah. all right so Want to make a motion to I'll make a motion to waive the reading. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
So the maximum aggregate of accessory building size by minimum lot area um, is proposed as 300 square foot accessory building for an under 10,000 square foot lot, 600 square foot accessory building for a minimum of 10,000 square foot lot, 800 square foot accessory building for a minimum of 30,000 square foot lot, 1,000 square foot accessory building on a minimum of 70,000 square foot lot, 1,500 square foot accessory building on a minimum of 140,000 square foot lot, a 2,000 square foot accessory building on a minimum of a 210,000 square foot lot, and a 2,500 square foot accessory building on a minimum of 280,000 square foot lot. And no accessory building larger than 1,500 square feet may be located closer than 40 feet from any property line on a lot used residentially. And so basically, um, this was brought to our attention because um, there were um, some residents who believed there was um, already in place a limitation to accessory buildings in town, um, but there was not. And so we have seen some rather large accessory buildings. On residential lots. Going into residential subdivisions um, where it's almost as though they have a warehouse on a residential lot. So. Um, Working with a uh, zoning enforcement officer, uh, John, myself, and um, a resident who was interested in working on this, uh, we did come up with this uh, proposed bylaw. It's it's still very generous because uh, when you think of you know the size of a shed or um, an outbuilding, a uh, thousand square foot on a seventy thousand square foot lot is still a good good size building. Um, other than that, at this point, the only uh, limitations is the 25% lot coverage. Um, so does anyone else have anything to add? Mm -hmm. No. All right. No, and it's, a good, it, it's a good way to go after, after this. And it's not saying that you can't build it. It's just is saying if you want something larger than, you just have to go through the Special Permit Granting Authority, which is the Board of Appeals. So, um, at this time, any residents have anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hi, Rodney. Thank you, Madam Chair. Rodney Dixon, 39 Baker Lane. I'm, I'm the resident that had instigated this. Uh, we, live in a, we live in Chase Farms, 77 home development. Lot sizes are roughly 70,000 square feet. We recently had a 60 foot by 80 foot, two story, four bay, metal structure go into the neighborhood i don't begrudge anybody because it is allowed under law currently um, i was the one that was ignorant and not knowing that there was not a lot size uh, limit which kind of surprised me so in these neighborhoods that we live we want to live in a nice neighborhood that is not filled with industrial sized industrial looking structures that's really the that's really what it is. Now, there's a time and a place for these type of structures in Lakeville. I would say uh, the, the larger size lots may be a little bit removed out of the neighborhoods, say maybe Bedford Street or maybe County Road, uh, County Street, excuse me, places like that. So that's what got me interested in this. And I thank you for your time and putting this on the agenda because I think it's very important. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't happen in the future. So, Great. have any questions for me? All right. I thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you. <coughs> All right. Anyone else? All right. Maybe. I'll make a motion to <coughs> recommend this to go to town meeting. All right. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Public hearing number four. This article would amend the town zoning map as identified in the Lakeville Town Code Zoning Bylaws Section 270-3.2A by changing the zoning from Business B and or Residential R to Industrial I for the following parcels identified below. 15 Harding Street, which is map block in lot uh, map 022-B002-L019. 17 Harding Street, m 022 0 19 a and 21 Harding Street, M 
022-002-018. Would somebody like to open that? I'll make a motion to open the public hearing. All right, do we have a motion and a second? All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, the public hearing number four is for uh, Article 15 at town meeting and it says to amend the town zoning map as identified in the Lakewood Town Code zoning bylaws section 270-3.2a by changing the zoning from B business B and or residential R to industrial I for the following parcels identified below 15 Harding Street 17 Harding Street and 21 Harding Street I'm not reading those map block and lots again <laughs> so this article um, was brought to us by a uh, prospective uh, buyer and because of the location in town because of our um, master plan that says to put to to grow industrial in certain areas in town where it makes sense they, these two parcel or three parcels one of them is very small they are on the way out of town on route 44 almost to taunton and they are uh, right across the street from an existing industrial park and zone um, there are no close residential abutters and uh, a lot of the land has an active conservation restriction as it is that acts as a good buffer mm -hmm. so um, because they were that was all in line with our master plan and what uh, planning board has discussed for uh, priority development areas we did agree to uh, sponsor this article yep. mm -hmm. um, there will be a handout that we will include with the town meeting packet Kathy Lillian says she hasn't seen this yet. Okay. Would you mind just forwarding her yep. so that she can put it in with the town meeting packet? Um, other than, anyone else have anything to add <coughs> to this? Oh, yeah. Anyone from the public? All right, hearing yep. no. So I'll make a motion to recommend this to town meeting. Second. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And then I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Is there a motion and a second? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Moving on to number five, a &R Plan Reservoir Ave. Hello. If you could just state your name and address for the record, please. Uh, from 55 Long Point Road, Lakeville. Uh, the Basically, what we have here is I had an approved a and R plan for two lots on Reservoir Ave back in May, I guess, of 2020. <clears throat> and in the meantime, uh, we wanted to address the driveway for the Lakewood Country Club, so we came in front of this board to get approval, and we did get approval for a Form C subdivision. Ironically, the engineer that did the Form C uh, left out the two lots that I had pre-approved a year or two earlier than that, and by leaving them out, the town... Uh, assessor notified me and said you know if you leave those out they're not going to be there anymore so this is new to me that this even can happen and so he just suggested that we do a revised pl same plan just revise the date on it and then resubmit it for this board and uh and thank you guys for volunteering your time because i know it takes a lot to come to these meetings all the time uh, and, and i think that's the gist of what happened okay and i appreciate you providing um the prior plans so that we could um look at them and we did pass them around and yeah. I'll have a chance to look at them. Um, so we have the prior plan, which it looks exactly like, which was approved back in 2020. And then the more recent Form C, which as all of the existing abutters, it does look like they are all um, shown in this sort of dashed line area, but um, for whatever reason, it didn't count. So um, it seems straightforward enough to me. Does anyone have any questions, comments, concerns? So we're not really approving this as a Form A, Kathy, are we? Or we're, we are? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. So we just have to approve it as a Form A again. All right. Um, would anyone like to make a motion? How's this affect the golf course? I noticed that it's, uh, that it's pretty close to uh, the 18th green. Yeah, actually, if, if part of it is on the 18th green. But so these, these are the exact, it's not going to affect the golf course at all. The, nothing's going to be done there. It was just, we had these plans submitted in hopes of doing a house later on, and it just didn't happen, and I just didn't want to lose my protection by 
mm -hmm. playing Judea, making a mistake on this. Right, and the A&R yeah. is not a change in use, it's just saying right. that these lots can be the, the lot yeah. Yeah. On, their, on their own. Yeah, it, it, doesn't this fall off from Reservoir Ab quite a bit? Yes, it does. Yes. I mean, it makes it kind of hard to build. It does, yeah. Anything there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll make a motion to approve. Approve, yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the ANR as stated, I guess. Second. Yeah. Make a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you guys very, very much. much. Okay. This is the first for me, too, so I don't know how that <laughs> right. happens. You learn something every day. Thanks again. Thank Thanks you. For your time. Thank you. Yep. Did you want these? You didn't want these back, did you? Or? No, you guys did. Right. Kathy, did you want those for? All right, agenda item number six. We have a public hearing for Pinecrest Village, which has been continued to this evening upon the application for approval of the definitive plan submitted by Maroney Building and Contracting Inc. for a two lot subdivision off Hickory Lane and Pinecrest Drive, assessor map 043, block 007, lot 001. Possible vote. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm Jason Nelson from Alpac Engineering here with uh, the applicant, Greg Maroney, and his attorney, Dan Vieira. Um, the last meeting, uh, the public hearing was closed, and we were just adding a couple things to the plan that the that the board had requested. Um, we took out the island, um, the public stack, um, no parking signs. We added the street tree at the mm -hmm. driveway. Um, then added the, the bend on the roadway where it's been in the shoulder. Uh, we take. That's one thing that the board asked for. Mm -hmm. We added to the plans. So I noticed that you didn't put um, mention of the, the fire lane, but it is in the conditions. Mm -hmm. yep. um, any, any questions? Other board members? No, I think we good. Okay, and we do have um, in our packet we had the set of conditions reviewed by town council on there were just a couple minor. Um, wording changes. I think. Changes. Yep. The word "existing" was added to the second paragraph on page one. Um, oh, and number three, I did ask town council because there was um, a blank line for the amount of um, under. So number three for a security, um, there was a blank line for the amount. And she did say we could add amount as recommended by the town's peer reviewer. So, Kathy, you have that right that you could insert? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, on number five uh, failure to complete the installation of municipal services within two years of. Uh, it said endorsement, but change to change approval, to approval mm -hmm. of the plan may form a basis for recession of approval of the plan. <coughs> so that was a minor uh, change. No, have you looked over the conditions yet? I have not seen You those. have not, okay. Have you? Yeah. No. Um, Number 16, all drainage facilities, associated structures, including pipe, looming seeds, shall be completed to the satisfaction of the planning board prior to the conveyance of any lot or the issuance of any building permit, unless an appropriate surety is agreed upon, which is sufficient to complete the infrastructure. Okay. That was changed from certif certificate of occupancy by the building inspector uh, based off of his recommendation. So we did make that change. And that was it. Yeah, and that was it. Yeah. All very minor. Yeah. 
But you haven't seen, you guys haven't seen them then? No. Okay. I'm sure they're pretty typical. Yep. So a lot of them are standard conditions. Um, the ones that are more specific. We're at the end. The waivers. Uh, we did add uh, 17 approval by planning board of this plan should not be treated as nor deemed to be approval by the board of health for a permit for the construction <coughs> and use on any lot of an individual sewage su individual sewage system no building or structure shall be placed on any lot without all applicable approvals and permits from the board of health um, Fire lane sign. HOA, garbage, trash, changes. Any damages that occur that arise from construction will be repaired or rectified at the applicant's expense. Uh, 24, no parking fire lane signs approved by the fire department shall be placed in the cul-de-sac along the curbs where parking could, could obstruct the minimum width and turning radius or access. Uh, this planning board approval is for a definitive subdivision only. If any other board, committee, commission, or department requires a change to the plan or said change requires a variance for their particular board, committee, commission, or the department's approval, the applicant shall notify the planning board who will review the change and determine if the applicant needs to return to the board and or revise the plan. Uh, stormwater pollution prevention plan will be provided to the planning board prior to the commencement of construction. In 27, a steel plate is to be placed over an existing culvert on Beech Tree Drive during construction. This plate will be removed upon a certificate of occupancy being issued for both of the lots. Okay. So everyone had a chance to look it over and seem like it yeah. did encompass everything that we had discussed. Mm -hmm. yep. the concerns? Okay. So, um, at this point, Kathy, do you want to make sure that they receive the... Yeah, I'm going to give them this one right now with okay. the um, changes on it. Okay. Like you said, they were really minor. So. Okay. And would you like us to continue so you have a chance to review? Do you want to continue so they can review or... Nope. Okay, so you're... Yep. Okay. I'm over, so. <coughs> yeah, and the ones you read. What's that? Clear. Do it's not, they're all standard, but the ones you read were Correct. things we already talked about anyways. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so would someone like to make a motion to approve this Pinecrest Village uh, definitive subdivision um, with the conditions of approval? I'll make a motion to approve the subdivision plan for Pinecrest Village. Um, was it what you said as a... Definitive subdivision. Definitive plan of review. Definitive subdivision. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Yes. Second. Second. To say with the conditions. Okay. With conditions. All right. So I'll, I'll make a motion to approve the uh, definitive sub plan sub yeah plan division for uh, Pinecrest Village um, with conditions as stated. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 That was good enough, Kathy? Yep. Okay. <coughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, number seven, say plan review, two and four Bedford Street, which has been continued to this evening upon the application for site plan review and approval submitted by Twin Boys LLC for proposed contractor base presented by Zenith Consulting Engineers, possible vote. Hi, good evening, Nick Velozo, Twin Boys, LLC. Uh, <clears throat> we are in receipt of the Beals and Thomas letter. Um, we feel all of the comments have been adequate, adequately addressed. Um, if there's any comment that you would like to go over, I'm happy to do so. Or if you please as the board, I'd be happy to go through the open comments still. Um, well, so there's, so there's one thing 
First, so Kathy, we still haven't gotten, um, so I know under general comments number one, um, it says that the planning board and the building inspector have been provided a letter from council regarding this matter, but I have not seen a letter. Um, that was with the original submission. So the only, oh, your, your attorney. That's okay, so correct. not, not council. Okay. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> I have applicants. that letter here. If you... No, that's fine. I'm okay. so what, um, I thought you were, it was saying that, you know, town council had, um, provided but we hadn't seen anything right no. and I know I asked you earlier so I do feel like this is still a, a important item to get in place because we've had concerned residents because uh, peer review um, did look at it and say that uh, there is a question about zoning and because I did have a ver uh, verbal discussion with the zoning enforcement officer we haven't gotten it in writing yet he has you know promised it to us but I know he's you know, got a lot going on. Um, so I would like to see that come in so we have that on file um, in regards to zoning. Um, other than that, if you would like to go through the ones that are still open. Sure. Uh, so I believe the next comment is number seven. Mm -hmm. And the review engineer site conditions dictate the slope as proposed, which is the minimum engineered slope. We would simply ask that this requirement for a public road not be applied to the private commercial driveway. As it states in the comment, this the section they're referring to is for a public road and not the driveway that we are proposing. Now, can you remind me, um, the, ele the site elevation is changing. Are you just moving dirt within the site or are you bringing it in? So Zenith is not here today. Okay. Um, so I apologize, I'm yeah. just the owner. Right. Um, if you do have more questions, I will have to get Zenith back here for another okay. meeting. But are they bringing, do you know, are, are you bringing in dirt for the, are you moving it around the site? Cause most it of it is being moved around, but I do not want to provide okay. an answer gotcha. um, in yeah, case I'm uh, incorrect with that. Mm -hmm. I, I could say that I had asked him, I thought I'll it, say a number of, of meetings ago. Right. I don't remember. And he said the, the site was actually being raised quite a bit. So it that is. would mean there's okay. a lot of. Okay. Lot I just of, didn't remember if you bringing, were bringing it in, in or if it was moving. Yeah. No, it sounded at least when I asked the question, it sounded like he was bringing in okay. quite a bit. I, just, I think I asked specifically, you know, was, okay. was it a balanced cut and fill? And he said, no. Okay. Yeah, I apologize. I can't answer that. Okay. Uh, if I may go back to number one, though, I know mm -hmm. this has been a topic since the first meeting we had. Is this mm -hmm. something that we need to do or is this something that no, the board um, still needs to request? We have requested it. It's okay. just a matter of getting it. Okay, understood. So, do any other planning board members have input on this in regards to the, the steepness of that grade? I mean, I, I'd hate to see it cause like an, an, an accident, uh, like in bad weather. Um, but it is private property, it's not a road. Um, but it's also commercial property, so mm -hmm. anybody be, could be pulling in, turning around. Well, yeah. Yeah. it's private, though, right? <clears throat> There's all going to be leased people, right? It's not open to the public, right? Well, you have an office building. Well, it's so an, it's office an office building. building. The front. <clears throat> That's right. I guess you're right. You're right. This is this portion here is an office, office building. building. But right. again, I think the regulations were written for public roadways mm -hmm. and not private driveways. And that's, I believe, what my engineer uh, was trying to explain in his response. I can pull up the grading plan if that would be helpful. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I don't know if we have it here. It's been a while. It wasn't in the packet this week, right? It is in here, is but it? it's just very hard to see because it's so small. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. even, yeah. even on the second level. Whatever, that's one, 11 by... 11 by 17. 17. Yeah, you can see. Let me see if I can blow it up in line. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Like, mm -hmm. So here's uh, my reading right. Yeah. yeah. So we're going on one. Uh, so this is 18. Yeah. Bedford Street, and this is the axis. It drops about, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, uh, they just drive in and turn around. <laughs> Anyone can get in Unless to a feet. driveway. Yeah. yeah, five. So yeah, it drops about five feet, right? From right. like. Yeah, correct. But I mean, luckily, we're not on a corner. Mm -hmm. um, you know, 18 is 
straight yeah, pretty straight all the way through. Yeah. I mean, but if it's icy and there's traffic going fast, like what happens there? Like, is is there a chance of sliding? Yeah, I would think that in winter time would be. Or does it go down? Uh, uh, yes, it the driveway down. slopes. Yeah. Or if there's you know a traction problem, somebody can't you know, thinks they're going to make it out in front of someone. I just know it's a bad it's a bad section of road. There's a lot of accidents, so I think we should be cognizant of it for safety reasons. Yeah, I mean that's why Ocean Spray has a cop down there. Right. You know, every evening. Yeah, and that's very close. I mean, so to me, it makes sense to maybe discuss with your engineer a little bit more so we can find out the reasoning. <clears throat> what, like, why is if it has to be that? It, way? it does. We, we have looked at it. However, I just don't want to provide a detailed mm -hmm. response okay. for tonight. Um, so I apologize for that. However, they, <laughs> this has been looked at um, a lot. Mm -hmm. by all parties yeah and this is the best solution for the engineer and the site no it would, would probably be something that would come up in peer review but i'm wondering if this piece of parking lot being up higher blocks views once once a car gets down in here looking in that direction oh that little corner mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah because that's at the higher elevation that's this parking lot elevation. Uh, I don't believe that's correct. We're at 45 and that's at 43. That corner? That yes, sir. That, uh, you can't see the that driveway be sloped down so it's going to slope. No. Well, it is. It, it's a gradual slope down at the moment. Five feet. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Are you referring to over here? Yeah, this is elevation 43 and this is 45. It's really small to see over here. Yeah, <laughs> I, it, it's hard to read it on this. Okay. Uh, for, for, for me, that uh, and I was just I would make an assumption. I, I think I saw forty eight, which is up near the top of the yeah, drive, yeah. makes a turn across. Yeah. Uh, so from it goes from forty four on the corner of the lot to forty one to the detention basin. Yep. And then this parking is also forty three. Thank you. So at the line of sight from that, yeah. it is going to be lower. The drive is okay. It's clear. Okay. Yes. And then this is also another uh, swale over here. So that's forty six. Yeah, we get the GB here. All right. So, do we want to defer this discussion until the en his engineer is present? Uh, yeah. I, Does anyone well, else have an opinion? Or well, I've got I, I've got another issue that we mentioned. Can you get um, Jamie to come back in? You know, and, and Jamie, it would be either Niles or Bob, uh, certainly. But if I could just have the specific question, um, you just worried about the how steep the slope is. Correct. Yeah. Right, and David, what was I've got I've got one other comment and and. Probably should have talked about it when your architect was here the last time, but um, so I am Nick Velozo from Stark Architects as well. Oh, okay, okay. Two hats tonight. <laughs> the, 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 my comment was, you know, about what this looks like, and and on the uh, on the elevations, it it looks a little dreadful. The building in the front, which is the, the office building, and there's one storage bay uh, there. Uh, could it be offset? Uh, I, I'll be happy to discuss that. I was planning on talking about architectural next, but if, if the board let, would like yeah, me let's to get through the, now. Let's get go through the, through the um, sure. okay. let's go through the comments. And <clears throat> sure. Okay. So we're on to number 11. Okay. And just for number eight, I know they said to just oh, the sorry. fire department, but um, I believe we got, I, I believe I remember speaking to the chief early on. We did get a yeah. letter from them, Kathy, right? I believe they reviewed it. I, I know I sent it. I, I, okay. I don't want to speak It's just been a while. There's remember. been a lot of things going on, and I'm I can check on that. There's right, something. so the turning analysis has been provided to just because, and approved by the fire department. And I, just because I, I, it sounds like they didn't see it, so. The, the fire department? No, um, peer review. Didn't see the oh, letter I'm sorry. from the fire department. 
Uh, so moving on to number 11, I'm just mm -hmm. gonna read our engineer's response. Mm -hmm. It is our experience that this requirement is not enforced for any site, including new subdivi subdivisions, which it is tended. The Board of Health does not include this requirement in their septic regulations. So we'll meet all septic regulations when we go to the Board of Health prior to construction. Okay, and so um, if we were to issue an order of conditions, we would include a condition that says any changes that are required by Board of Health, you'll have to come back to us, mm -hmm. bring the revised plans. Um, it's it's not to be construed as a variance. I think I read it out loud I, of, a, was, of any yes. sort, um, you know, allowance for a variance. Um, so we, w we could add that as a condition. Understood. Okay. That would be acceptable to us. <clears throat> Does anyone have questions on number 11? Moving to number 12, I'll read our response. An adjustment has been made to the water service to limit the length within the Route 18 layout while avoiding the proposed retaining wall. Um, I know uh, Beals and Thomas deferred a mass DOT permitting process, so I, I think that comment or mm -hmm. has been addressed. Okay, and so I, I think we could add a condition to that effect as well. Like if they yeah. say that you must move it, you'll ha if, Come back if to you, you have to Absolutely. make a revision to the plan, you'll have to ret rever uh, return to us with the revised plans. So I think, you know, if, add, you know, make sure we have a Board of Health com, um, condition, mass uh, DOT. DOT condition. Okay. Uh, moving on to 13. It is our opinion that with the design flow for this project, this layout was acceptable. When a definitive septic design is submitted to the Board of Health, we shall defer to their judgment. So again, same comment covered. as the last yes. one. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I believe that is the last open item. I believe everything else has been addressed. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what I have too for my questions. Does anybody else on the board have any questions, mm -hmm. comments at this time? Nope. nope. Okay. Just going, to... going over to the <laughs> building elevations. Okay. We'll get there. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if you leave the grading plan up for just a second so you can see kind of where, I, <laughs> where I'm talking about. No, just, just, just leave that the grading plan oh, right okay. there for, for, for a second. You can see the building in the front. Half of it's office building and, and the other is storage, right? That's correct. And you have to go there? You know, one of the things is that if, if you were to take the storage section of it and shove it back from the street 10 feet, uh, and then take the office section of it. Right now, I, I'm... No, Assuming that this is all kind of pre-engineered steel structure. That's correct. I was planning on explaining it, but I'm happy to answer a question first. Um, okay, you know, so so you've got a kind of a massive volume above the office area that uh, uh, I don't know how you plan on using it. Or it could be potentially used as loft space for this area. We haven't designed that fully. Right now we have no plans for that. Yeah, I mean, you almost have to be careful about what you assume that you can do with it because, mm -hmm. you know, then you get into needing, you know, two means of egress and Absolutely. so on because it's not a mezzanine type usage. It's, oh, I, it's a second floor. I think it could be a mezzanine use as well if we limit the size. Yeah. But we can only deal with this site. Mm -hmm. We don't deal with right. the interior, no. No, I, I I understand that, but I, what, I guess what I was referring to really was was uh, elevations of the building and, and mm -hmm. the, the overall design of what it looks like. Sure, um, you know, I which, can, which is in our right. Correct. I can jump into that right now. No, okay, please. So this has been updated since the first submittal. Um, I think while we're talking about building A. We did have some varying roof heights to that. However, we started looking at the um, the cost and what this would cost financially. And for this scale of a project, um, looking at 276.7, I think G it is, um, some of that just is not feasible for this project um, due to the scale. So we had to change the building, specifically building A, back to um, just a standard roof over the um, storage area and the um, office building and just as I mean as a reminder I know <clears throat> the board is aware this is a 
by right project. We're just here for site plan review, which I believe limits, I mean, uh, limits some of the items that you can impose on special permit. So um, it's not a special permit. It is by right, but we do have um, in our site plan review, we do have design guidelines. That's correct. Which so the thing is, I like what you've done. I, I appreciate that you've changed the roof um, design. I know I know what you're saying financially. So I've, I've put in as much thought into this as I can, and I've tried to compare it to other buildings in this area, you know, Route 18. Um, the ones that are similar, similarly done, mm -hmm. they'll have like a long driveway, they'll have screening, like for example, um, you know, there's a lumber company down Route 18. If you pull in the driveway, you see the office building. The office building, it looks, it looks like standard New England design. Mm -hmm. And then for the rest of it, that's, you know, their storage area, they have a gate, it's well screened with trees. So I personally, I'm willing to, you know, give you the storage, the accessory storage, but you got to give us something for that front building. You got to give us some more design elements for that one the building, and you got to give a little bit of you got to give you know good screening. So because this is going to be up high when so you're driving down Route 18, one of the first buildings that you come in to see in Lakeville, it's business zone, it's not industrial, and you know we're waiting on that zoning determination mm -hmm. that says you can do this here. Mm -hmm. Um, we, but we know that there's been residents that are outspoken. They're not happy about this, you know, industrial looking oh, I'm, thing. In, I'm in, fully aware. And so I'd like to see. Me and my partners have looked at it. We have. We've gone back and forth financially mm -hmm. to see what we could do. Right. Unfortunately, I think as everyone's aware, the rising cost just leaves very little room for, you know, some design. Um, we looked at 270. Um, dash 6.7 G architectural standards and mm -hmm. nothing that we're proposing is prohibited in those standards I know you guys do offer suggestions um, I believe um, it's very limited so F F6 says architectural requirements shall be in harmony with surrounding neighborhood and the town so mm -hmm. to me that is a requirement it's not a suggestion and so it really is up to this board to determine whether this is in compliance with site plan review or not. Right. If, if you're not willing to make an, a, you know, any sort of concessions to the, the front building. We originally did, but I don't think you guys accepted that last go around with the two different varying roof pitches with the correct material, horizontal siding, the last time we were here. So it was all metal buildings that I saw. That's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I do, I, there, there's so, there's no varying um, setbacks in the facades. There's no correct um, overhangs, no covered porch, no dormers. Um, we do have a slight overhang. We can. So, and I did. Ask, I think I asked you to to drive down Route 18 and see what other people have done. So, the the fence company they have an accessory structure behind. You don't see it. So right. that's the the problem is you don't have something else to look at and say. This is, this is a good example of what I'm trying to do in a business zone in this area. I'm very, so I am very familiar, oh, I'm sorry. Jack, can you, as a compound, can you redo the front of the building so the building's it's more in line with what Michelle is looking for? But it's oh. not just myself, Jack. I mean, the oh, town no, voted I, I for, you know, a new site mm -hmm. plan review. The town wanted to see design yes. standards. They want to mm -hmm. see. So, yes, exactly. So I think, this. Can, you do, can you, as a compound, can you redo the front of the building? The I will certainly look into it. With, you know, doors on the top, face you can, I don't know. I would Just say, the varying facade even, right. with some little overhangs, maybe a, a different material on the front building. At least the part that faces we the We have street. to look financially at it to see if it works. Mm -hmm. um, and respectfully, I think we're very limited here with site plan review. Um, there's case law specifically that states site plan review process is associated with proposed as of right developments the process is an administrative tool to regulate rather than a statutory method for prohibiting a proposed development i understand what you are saying i do we can look at that front facade but we we really cannot do too much here <clears throat> financially it just will not make sense for us 
Well, I'm sure there's okay. certain things that you, <laughs> I mean, I don't, you so, know, it's really so not our concern with the financial I think what I'm aspect for, because I'd rather there are certain things that you could take away in order to make it more financially, right. uh, you know, feasible for yourself. This is why we have these guidelines. And I completely understand. I, and please, I don't, I'm not trying to be argumentative with you. I'm just trying to explain Mass General Law does not have a site plan review process. They have a special permit process. Site plan review is not. So it's left up to the town, right? I, and our site plan review, I just read you from F.6, architectural requirements. We do have I, architectural but requirements. But nothing is prohibited, is what I'm trying to explain. Because no, but it doesn't say that we can't deny it based off of the fact it's not compliant. Case law does point to that direction. I, don't, I didn't want this to be argumentative tonight. I, I really apologize for that. Um, but I would, I know. Um, if we give it to you, Give it to everybody else. Exactly. Was like, right. This whole town's going to look like you know what. <laughs> right. So if we try to avoid, I, I've been through the process and trust me, I do you understand. Is it What do you got? The storage area down here. Yeah. Which looks it doesn't look too bad. And they've done a lot of landscaping, so you might want to look at that as well. But and that's what I'm saying. Some screening and the front building. Can you fix? And it? even if it's you know the the side that faces the road. As opposed to all the sides. Yeah, well, look at what we do. well, then you if know? we do provide screening, we do have a swale and attention pond. Right. So that would be very close to the screen. But I don't I see many plantings at all. I do see you added some small trees along the butter side, which I don't see a fence has been added. For the scale of the buildings. It required because, again, they are pre engineered, it requires. A lot more work to add that. Get together with Jamie. Vincent. Tell me, he knows. He knows. <laughs> That's what not we Jamie. Want. I know what he wants, and trust me, we've talked. You know, to, we, we, we've talked to Zenith about this. And even, even if the first move is to take that storage part of the front building and push it back ten feet, now you got a, an area that you can do some screening. You can do right. some some larger trees. So it would be it would be taking on this <clears throat> elevation right here. It would be taking this half of it here and pushing it back and now you've got uh, the ability to put some larger trees in there that do screen it so <laughs> i've heard i know i've heard a couple things so would you be open to pushing the buildings back and screen adding some more screening i'm just Instead talking of about not the whole building but just the section that's the storage section so you you break that front elevation no, he's talking about he's talking about the office building. The office stagger, building. stagger the contractor building. bay back. Yep. And again, we've looked we've looked at that option. It's just not feasible for this project for us. I mean, I'd like to see some better screening for the rest of the buildings if they're not going to incorporate any of the design elements. And I think the. We have to get something for the front building, at least, at the very least. Something some as in screening scre or? Screening or for the design. larger accessory structures in the back. But we have to have some design elements incorporated in that front building. It's, it's higher than the road. That's correct. So it's going to be, as you're driving by, you're going to see it. One, I mean, look at Ocean Spray, uh, right across the street. That's a gorgeous building. <laughs> oh, you can't, we're yeah. not asking we for that. We don't have that much land. No, we're not, asking, back, so. we're not asking for you want the, to move it back a mile. you know, I would love to, traditional but. colonial America look. We're just I, asking for some additional design elements to be incorporated in what you're proposing, because it is part of our site plan review. Understood. Um, so, if I may, I brought the um, some of the standards here. I don't see anything that we've done that says it's prohibited. It just says discouraged. Um, well, it we, says we, prefabricated appearance are unacceptable. Mm -hmm. Facades vary the setback height. Long facade should be avoided. Should be yes. Right. Understood. So it's left up to interpretation by this board because, <coughs> as we've said, if you had proper screening or some other aspect that doesn't make it such an eyesore, so that it can, we can add more screening and that could potentially. For me, the, the screening board. helps for the larger buildings. If you're able to screen it so the 
the passer, passers-by and the neighbors don't have an eyesore, and if you can do something to that front building. You gotta, you gotta fix the front. If I may, uh, so this is the screening you're referring to over here? Well, or? from, you know, this is all, also, all this angles. Is Street, right? Yep. Yes. So we do have some, um, it's not on this plan. We do have some planting. Yeah, I saw the trees. They're only four foot high. On that side. The street up there. Then you fix the face of that obstacle. Mm -hmm. when, when they're planted along the, the retaining wall, you know, we have to be very to careful with trees updating. Yeah, we can that. screen the sides of the office building and put a nice picture of the office building. How about that? We can certainly look at that. that. Mm -hmm. Jamie, we can yeah. certainly look into screen that. Screen side, fix the front. And then screen this corner over here and that way. Yeah. I, ju I just want to be, make sure we're clear I, for next time we come back, mm -hmm. which pleases the board. So we do have some plantings over here. I know this is a drainage area and drainage area, so we have to be very careful mm -hmm. yeah. over here. However, it sounds like the board would be amenable to screening further on Bedford Street, which again, we have to look at the civil and make sure it's not going to impede anyone's vision mm -hmm. and up here but we it's I very limited room there i will discuss that with our engineers speak to jamie because i i don't think you put it all the way up to the street things you bring it back right but the issue we have is building. their drainage okay, okay. You so I, it's going to be very tight and i'm worried that we may not be able to so we do have some trees as well up by the retaining wall yeah by mm -hmm. the storage in the back mm -hmm. um <clears throat> I think if we put any more towards what the entrance that? and exit, we'd have a field of view issue. Yeah, yeah I think that's about the view. If you block that corner. Well, we do have some plantings up here. There are proposed okay. trees up there. See what you can do with the face of the <clears throat> So, understood. I know there are some comments um, that you guys would like to answer. I think it was number one from Civil, so I know that you do want them to come back for about the cut and fill. Um, right. However. <clears throat> well, about the, the driveway slope. Oh, excuse me. Yes, the driveway slope. <clears throat> however, I, we can only, very limited what we can. The, um, for the driveway, right at the, right at the edge there. Um, you, there's planting none of those plantings in the corner there are going to obscure the uh, view looking towards 495 right like trying to get out this one here yeah well the drive <clears throat> like trying to get out of the driveway no there's a good there's, there's a good, a good amount of field of view okay, okay. Yeah. we'll be good right. same thing those are on top of the retaining wall too right <clears throat> uh just inside of the retaining wall. okay it's i mean you're just inside the retaining yes. wall, yeah. and if okay. you look dan like the side of the road is farther out than yeah yeah than the than the driveway the, yeah Lionel shingles than the um okay train. I don't I don't I don't I don't I think you <clears throat> I have them on my house I mean they were put I don't know if they were supposed to final shingles <sighs> the problem is just the construction of the, the buildings due to the scale of it yeah. I'm adding more support in there but again um, we will we will look at it I mean we, we've got the, the design criteria in place you give right. you when someone comes in, you say, you busted my child, you gave it, you gave him a leeway, but give it to me. That's all I'm saying. I completely I'm understand. Sure. I do. Oh, one, did you, do you have a snow storage area? I don't know I'm I sure that. Zenith added one, but I will write that down for. Okay. We can get some conditions started for this one and, you know, work on the elevations and see what. The fire truck access really is fine. Yeah. So that, that was sent to the fire department. Yeah, Jack, that's what I, I questioned. 
I, I believe I talked to the chief about it, and I think we did get something, but I think uh, Perry, you just might not have seen it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. But he has the turning. They have the turning race on the drawings. Well, our next meeting is already. The 14th. What do we have on the 14th besides Rhino? Are there any other? Uh, Stop or? Stop, yeah, it should be quick though, right? Yeah, but yeah, that it was, should be quick. Yeah. Rhino and then the... You come back, maybe? <laughs> I don't recall. I, I feel like it's just that. Yeah, you go back to Kimmy or Beard. Stowe Estates and then, yeah, 43, right? Yep. yep. For now. Anyways. Yeah, no, still. still. Oh, they're done? Yeah, they're yeah, done. They're not it was crossed off. I just didn't know. Yeah, no, they're crossed off. Okay. Yeah, we already did that. We already gave the shirt, sir. Okay. So I don't know if we want to put it on to the... I mean, we're kind of at a crunch for meeting times at this point. Well, yeah, we're not going to... That, that'll be the only one in November. Okay, so we could continue to November 14th. And that meeting, it doesn't... I know it's at the library. Mm -hmm. There's no time on it. Didn't we say 6.30? Do we stick with 6.30? Yeah, so it'll be at the library. I think library. Just down the, just around, around the corner. Yeah, I'll have to check on that, though. Okay. So I think it's at 6.30 that the public hearings will start, and it's going to be at the library. So we can continue to... If I may, before you continue, um, is there anything else that I need to send into the town before we come back, besides the changes? Um, like the letter, I know the town is handling from either zoning you enforcement. The weather? Letter. Letter. Oh, the letter. The letter. <laughs> is there anything that we need before we come back besides updates? I know the fire department was a question, and so was the um, the use. All right, we're just waiting. We're waiting on the zoning determination memo. Um, yeah, that's. I think you want to visit your meeting for this. Visit what? <laughs> Would it be acceptable if I reach out to ask if that? Yeah. You can receive that before the next meeting. Yes. Okay, so would someone like to make a motion to continue to 4 Bedford? I'll make a motion to continue to 4 Bedford Street until uh, November 14th at the public library. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank right. you. Thank you. We will see you November 14th. Good luck. Okay. Mr. Kelly. Yes. Here he is. How are you? I'm good. Better than the one I hope so. We have agenda item number eight, public hearing, modification of a site plan review, 5 Harding Street, continued to this evening upon the application for a modification to a site plan review previously approved to change from one large building to six smaller buildings, site layout and appurtenances changed to accommodate new layout, possible vote. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> if you could just state your name. Sure. For the John, John Kelly for 5 Harding Street. Hi. Okay. Good evening. Thank you for your patience. Yeah. Tried to get through these as quickly as possible. It's actually not that bad. An hour is not that bad. Yeah. Um, Thank you for so all your submissions too. Yeah, yeah you, you yeah. definitely got us a, a number of things. It was nice to see uh, your your engineer working with our peer review via email. We have this information from you regarding the vinyl sh um, sheet piles. Yes. Um, uh, pertaining to microplastics and if it's harm harmful to drinking water. We also had a memo from Conservation Commission dated October 15th, which says at our October 8th, 2024 meeting, the commission voted to advise the owner of 5 Harding Street to file for an amended order of conditions after a decision that there were only minor changes to the original filing. As for the questions concerning the vinyl sheet piles used for the retaining wall, the commission will consider adding a condition that will that the wall will require an inspection every five years and a report filed as to the condition of the wall. The retaining wall protects Brokoy Brook, which is only one of two cold water stream, trout streams left in Lakeville. So um, it's good to get that information from con mm -hmm. conservation. To me, that says they don't see any um, major issue with it. I would like us to add our own condition that says, you know, pursue 
uh, per the commission uh, conditions mm -hmm. um, that you know it should be upkept, or, you know, or you know, monitored and inspected, and if any, you know, degradation or something like that. Exactly, if it needs to be repaired or replaced for whatever reason. So, um, and, and some of these submissions, a lot of. I know there's a lot of information, but the Army Corps of Engineers, some of them yep. stated about the longevity. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it, there's the studies that it goes in that are you know well beyond even yeah. what they, the studies are only so so. Um, but I think one of the studies mm -hmm. I read was over 40 years since monitoring without any degradation. Again, no issues mm -hmm. of leaching. We wanted to research all that. So, right. And I know what you had said pr previously is you know, less mowing, et cetera, that needs to happen in that area, so. And in, in my discussion with uh, the chairwoman of the uh, CONCOM, I mean, but yeah, and part of it is that, you know, we understand that the Percoy Brook is an important mm -hmm. uh, resource in, in the town, and so we were looking at it and saying, that, you know, we think it's a premium uh, opportunity to, to do the right thing there, and so that was a lot, a lot of our discussion, and, and you know, candidly, like I said to uh, the CONCOM board, is that we're using this, this these products, other parts of the country, in, in area, you know, areas that are you know, very uh, difficult resource areas, in, you know, such Florida and some of the other places, and we're using it with really great luck, so uh, that, that's part of why our, our decision to try to go that route. Um, I did get the, uh, the response letter, so Kathy had sent it over to, to me uh, to, uh, today, so I just, I, that's what I was reading mm -hmm. when we were over there, so I think there were a few uh, items in the uh, response letter. It appeared to me there were a couple items like the illicit uh, permit and things mm -hmm. that I had already taken care of, so I just wanted to make sure that some of the things, I, um, you know, I believe had been resolved and should be closed. Okay. Uh, but again, I was just trying to read it on my phone. I didn't have a chance to. Uh, oh, do you have a copy of it? I, I don't actually. Yeah. I was at meetings and I didn't get it till like four, you know, four or something. Yeah. You know, so I was I was driving on the highway. Kathy has one. Thank you, Kathy. And, uh, I was praying that it wasn't yeah. bad. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So. So yeah, if, if we want to just kind of go over the open items. Yep, that'd be great. Yep. Um, and I know this. This sheet was this from? It says from the third party reviewer. Was this from? Alan? He submitted that, that. was his. Okay. Okay. So it looks like on uh, number five, in regards to the ADA, I know you had made some revisions. Environmental partners. Uh, we acknowledge the applicant has added spot elevations to ensure accessible parking maintains a slope of less than 2% in compliance with ADA standards. However, our recommendation remains that protective elements such as curbing and bollage should be incorporated around the accessible parking space to enhance safety. We do not have additional comments at this time. So I believe this is an item that we actually discussed yep. that you, yep. to some length at the, at the last meeting. Mm -hmm. I believe this board was in agreement yep. that, mm -hmm. that the showed. way that you had um, shown it um, made sense. Yeah, I, um, I think we just were, we wanted to try to do a striping and we just felt like maintenance and then adding basic obstacles with the bollards would be a little bit uh, more difficult. So So now is there a 2% slope though? Is That seems like the issue. I think the spot grades were that we would be un under 2%. Uh, under. To ensure the accessibility parking space maintains a slope of less than 2%. Okay, right. so you will be under. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Item closed, number seven, item closed, number eight, item closed. Number nine. Nine, yep, we do have number nine. Um, you updated the calculations to show the 25-year um, revised plans indicate the use of retainer chambers for the building roof infiltration. This one's a fairly long one. Um, okay, so as previously noted, we do not recommend this approach as it can introduce pollutants and suspended solids from... Instead, we continue to recommend the use of an outlet control structure with a wire, weir, weir yeah. and rim and an overflow pipe connected to on-site drainage infrastructure. This would better protect the system from contamination and provide more effective flow control. 
So oh. the weir and w rim is what exactly? <laughs> when I was reading this, I was trying to. So where is this? This is on. On page uh, seven of eighteen. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm saying on the, on the drawings. More on the drawings. And have you submitted a um, revised plans or no? I don't know if civil engineer had, but. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think they sent those out. Yeah, I believe they sent them out. Oh. And that was what was being reviewed. But. So they reviewed the plan. So environmental partners did review those. Yeah. Um, I, I thought they were in agreement. I thought we ended up agreeing in the I'm e not sure. email. I think they came in after. After. Oh, okay. I, I think it was after the emails between the engineers yes. and stuff. Yes. Yes. So thought, and I, I thought they had basically. And the right. emails had included the Elden structure with the weir and the rim. But. So, I mean, there were a few, I think, that, um, well, let's, so I'm going to star number nine just to come back to that. Um, number 10, it also says it remains open. Um, oh, that's the vinyl sheet pile. I'm going to cross that one off. We've discussed that. 11 which refers to number 12, 12 is closed for 12A. B is closed, C is closed, 13A is closed, and B, so 13B on page 10 of 18. Um, so this is one, so there were a few that said add a construction detail. So this is one of those. Um, if, you, if you read through it, it kind of gives a breakdown of what they're looking for and says the applicant should add a construction detail for this uh, hydrodynamic separator, separator to the plans. The operation and maintenance guide for all water quality devices should also be added to the site's operation and maintenance manual. And I know you do have an operation and maintenance which Kathy has included as well. So, so this, so under um, the same, under C as well, it says uh, construction details should be added to the plans. Um, yeah, again, that was the retaining chambers. We were trying to change those up uh, because there was a concrete uh, system. Okay. okay. And uh, so, again, so if you so that's that's why I was asking Kathy if they had reviewed those plans because if you submitted plans with some revisions and if you had added those sections those detail sections and if they just haven't seen it that might be the reason. Yeah, I think I, I, mean, <clears throat> I believe we already submitted it after the, there was the email between the engineers where we addressed each one of these items. So yeah, well, this letter is dated the twenty second though. So yeah. Right, yeah. So you don't know what the date on the plans were when they were submitted? Uh, that was, I don't know that's possible. So actually the emails are included in your packet too. Oh yeah, I, but these, uh, but these are prior to these comments, though, right? Yeah, but Mr. Kelly's saying that they were resolved through the emails, I believe. So I think, so they discussed it, but the way I'm reading it is environmental partners is just saying to show the detail on the plans. So yes, you came to a conclusion via email, but just document it on the plans. And, and I believe I submitted the plans. Okay, but so, so that's what I wasn't. That's, yes, I'm not because sure they, because they went back and forth between Graham. Basically, said that he was gonna. He called me and said he wanted to add the Rinker Stormwater Treatment Device. I said go ahead. Um, so I mean, we went through. I went through all the questions and. Okay. Because um, I, I I don't have a revised set of plans, right? Because we don't have them in the packet. The pl no, they they were just sent out. Because okay. they're so hard, there's so many pages, there's just too much to print. Okay. I mean, could we make the condition that the details are provided on the plans for, you know, for in our 
ability to get a building permit or so but you don't know if environmental partners reviewed the plans Kathy uh, I believe with the revision that after you went back and forth with the emails then you revised the plans so no is okay. that so they didn't stand up I thought I thought we went back and forth with the emails got to an agreement with the two engineers Graham Graham and the uh, consulting or peer review engineer yes and then you revised oh, the plans correct that was, that was what I thought too yeah. okay but so then environmental partners hasn't seen the revised plan no okay so that could be the reason that he's yeah, still asking for these yeah, right. items yeah I, I don't I don't know I mean I just got the letter you know to the yep. letter, so, um, otherwise I would try to address it with my engineer but um, what the was that um, 13, yeah, okay. 13, 13 B. B and C. And I think there was more than <coughs> the 14. So, number 14 as well. So, um, cannot take credit for providing water quality volume, therefore we understand that Ken is now providing water quality volume via the hydro dynamic separator consistent with volume three of the mass storm water management standards propriety BMP likely <coughs> additions stated in comment 13b storm water discharging from CV2 should be routed through a hydrodynamic separator as well so the same they're saying the same as um, the last one yeah 13b so so on October 8th, they sent a link for the plans. Everything yep. was sent, all the reports. And I'm just trying to see if I can get it on my phone. Well, that, that, those are the plans that they reviewed. was the, the October 8th. Oh, I thought... But you said it was, we got the plan. The plans were after, no? I thought the plans were after, too. Okay. Well, that's what they say on their... On their oh, their order. review. On yeah. their review, it says it's October 8th. Yeah. Older plans, then. So not with what um have we exhausted environmentals um partners review yes we have were they supposed to, i know one of them said that in in lieu of attending another meeting they would send a third review but no yeah that was um, that was another i know second. but so there's no working with them on that no they weren't supposed they to. They weren't up. supposed to. That wasn't part of that proposal. Fourteen okay. above. So even number sixteen refers to fourteen as well, and fourteen refers to comment 13b and then item 17 is closed 18a is closed b is closed and, oh, 19 is the operation and maintenance plan which we do have illicit discharge statement do you do you have a did you give us a Okay, so I haven't, I don't think I've seen that. Yeah. Illicit discharge? I know it's valid. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is? Okay. So we do have the illicit dis discharge. Okay. I'm sorry, I dropped my uh, stuff in the hallway on my way in, so I'm all mixed up here. <laughs> so. 21 is defers to Conservation Commission. 22. Mm -hmm. 
Once again, is the vinyl piles. Twenty-three item closed. Twenty-four item closed. Twenty-five. No response. Um, oh, this has to do with the utility pole. We also have that yep. in our packet. Yep. So this was very good to have. So you and have Jeannie. the expired permit, but then you also have the permit that um, the mass stop permit that doesn't expire until March of 2025. So that allows you to have that pole moved. So it is being moved by the- It's been moved. It's actually, they've set mm -hmm. the, that's, it's, this is, this is where if there was issues or in the due diligence reports, we were told in, in the documents we received that it was Verizon pole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I made that representation. Yep. I went back and looked at the emails and it says we paid Verizon. Well, they paid Verizon to move the lines, and that was not the poll. Yeah. But upon further review, we went back and we found that it was Middleborough Gas and Electric. Mm -hmm. It's been located into that spacing, but per Mass DOT, that the location now that they have the poll in is where it's going to be. They can't move it. We, we, we would love to have moved it left or right. Oh, they already did move it? Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's, yeah. It's, 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 this is where it's been. I mean, we've been working on this. One guy in our office, Irv Silverman, he's been working on this since we, you know, even before we bought the property during our due diligence. Mm -hmm. And even so, this has now been six months. And then Bob Pellucci has been working on this for almost mm -hmm. two years. Mm -hmm. And so they, they you know, they're, they were supposed to be there, I think, the day of the hurricane. I was yep. out of town. They were supposed to be there. Then they said they couldn't be there for two weeks. And they came back, so it's it's been a it's been a challenge to say the least. But from they pointed back down to I believe Mass uh, Middleborough Gas and Electric <clears throat> pushed back to us that per, per Mass DOT that's the location, and then we contacted Verizon again, and then they that's when they, they said yes, it's Mass uh, Middleborough Gas and Electric. Whereas before, um, I'm not sure who made their representation, but for Bob Lucci's when we purchased yeah. the property. Their documentation is that it was Verizon. The, pay, the payments had gone in to move the pole, and, and they were, but it was really for the dressing oh. of the uh, of the lines. So. <clears throat> yeah, so. Verizon owns a lot of those poles. Do oh, so yeah. the way I had read yeah. it, I thought that you were yeah. getting yeah, move, yeah. like yeah. renewing this permit so that you can still move it. No, they, they've already moved. They've, they've already moved it under um, Law Pellucci. So, so is the driveway not in the same location as his has been had been proposed? No, it's in the same exact location. That's why it's all we're doing everything per the Mass DOT, that Mass DOT permit, and all we did was have it renewed. Okay. Gotcha. So. Here's a um, copy of the list of discharge Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have this copy, but thank you. Oh, this one right here, the permit? That's the EOT permit. Yeah. I have the illicit discharge permit was a question, I believe, so I just wanted to okay. kind of copy. Yeah. But I, it was part of my package that landed on the floor up there. Oh, see, I was hoping this is going to address this. So you still have a per a pole that's within the curb cut. It's within the driveway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought this was saying you you got the extension in order to move it. Bob, Bob Pellucci got an extension that was part of the, the deal with the on the purchase. One of our conditions. So. And it was already yeah. done? They put, they put the pole in the location and that's what they're now trying to. But so they put it in the location of the driveway? That's, yeah, that, that diagram, that's, like, what, believe me, we've, we've, we've been pouring over this. Uh, trying to see, I mean, this diagram? Yeah, that's yeah, it. That diagram, yeah. <laughs> that's what I thought they were showing, that we're moving it here. So where's the pole I'm trying to figure out? It shows. 24 foot length, proposed sign, Cape Cod Berm, Cape Cod Berm. So that's the cut. Station 23 
plus 89.17 and station 23.17. Relocation of the existing utility pole must be performed under a separate permit to be issued by the public utility company. The left of the right side of the driveway. Over the middle. And that's what I thought the permit. Yeah, it was, it was in the middle, I think. So. Yes. There was one thing that we saw that was from, it was from, I think it was the email that we got forwarded that was from Mass, I mean, Middleborough Gas and Electric. Yes. This is the Mass, Mass Dot. I had sent on that, I, was, I can look at my phone if I need to. To Middleborough Gas and Electric, existing utility board, westerly direction, approximate station oh, 2360. 20. Yeah, so 2360 shows that it's outside of that curb cut, right. in between. So you have your driveway right here, which is, mm -hmm. we've got 2335 is where it starts, and then mm -hmm. 2359 is where it ends, and so 2360 would be right here, outside of the curb cut. It should be towards, towards, the, towards the rotary. Towards the middle row, yeah. Yeah is what it looks like it should have been moved. So I'm confused when you say that it's already been moved. Because this permit is giving them permission to move it, and then the permit was extended so that they still have until this coming year to do the, do the move. So... If you so, uh -huh. if you can't like don't don't do it now. But if you can confirm with um, Middleborough Gas and Electric that this has already been moved, and it's not going to be moved because it, it sounds to me that it was supposed to be moved to Station Twenty Three Sixty, which no from, from Twenty Three Sixty to Station Twenty Three Twenty. Wait, I was looking at 2360. It's 2320. 2320, yeah, it's in the curb. It's in the curb, right? It's on the left on side the, of the curb. Mm -hmm. Okay, so towards Taunton then. Somewhere around there. Yep. Yeah, because there can't be a pole in the middle of the driveway. Yeah. So it was out of the it was out of the berm? Oh, it was, no, it was kind of in the berm anyways. So it was, a, they moved from one side to the other is pretty much what they did. Yeah. I think it's just outside, but you're just trying to find the email. And they will move it. Move I mean, it. you didn't get what another curb cut, right? You no. said that you're using the exact same curb cut as Pellucci had already gotten? Yes, we were, we, we were building it exactly because we didn't want to go back to Mass DOT because they basically, there was no, there was no really reason we could go back to them. Hmm. It's hard to see. Them. I mean, that that definitely has to be <laughs> cleared up yeah, because. Can we be flexible here? Oh. Yeah. I mean, there can't be a pole in the middle of the driveway. Right, I think they would. Well, I, I think it's outside, I think it's outside the curb. Yeah. 
but it's right it's right at the edge I believe. Is it? I oh, because so. when I drove by, I thought it was right in the middle of the driveway. Well, I th that area is going to be reduced here. That was that was the ex when I said that was the existing curb cut was that's being pulled down to over twenty four feet. Right. Oh, it's reduced. Yeah. So what is and there so now? That, it's going to be was, reduced. Yeah. So I guess I misspoke. It, but what's there was the existing curb cut from the okay. from the nursery. Okay. 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 So that's what it was. So and it's now being it's closed. Being, it's it's being okay. choked down a bit. Yes. Okay. So they moved it. It's not going to so, be in the middle of the driveway. No. So, yeah. So it's so right now on what's existing, it was basically there, but it's it's being. This is only going to be twenty four feet wide, and then that spreads out to mm -hmm. thirty okay. plus. So but when I say existing, that was the nursery. Right? It was just yeah. That's okay. Was for, uh, okay. I'm sorry. It's not a problem. No, I don't think it. I don't think it is at this point. But it still was. It's been the back and forth has been contentious. Oh, that's just well, been every. It's been a guessing game. So yeah, nobody, just nobody seemed to want. To, nobody wanted to seem to take ownership of the poll, and then people are. You know, again, we're just getting contacted, or or they're showing up, and then they say they're going to show up, and we had guys waiting there, and then we find out they, you know, have. You know, you're right. Because you just miss. Huh? Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah, no, we, you know, we're getting a good one there. <laughs> we, we got a couple of jobs like that right now, so if you're, if you're, if the utility companies have been difficult. Okay, so maybe it's just my perception. I didn't realize that it was yeah. getting closed off smaller than it appears to be right now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, 26, item closed. 27, applicant added detail sheet. It's indicated, however, there are missing details mentioned in the previous comments. Okay, so this one's looking for more detail in the um, um, plans as well. So, all right, 27. Twenty. What, what did you say, John? 25. Oh, no, 25 was for the... Yeah, I have. Cheap, uh, oh, utility pool. Yeah, 25 is for, So I guess, I mean, I guess I'd like to see something from just Middleborough Gas and Electric. Can you just email them and have them respond that the poll has already been moved? Yeah, well, I can I get them request, yeah. Okay. I can do that. No, no problem. If we can make that condition, that would be great. If I can. But they, they've actually been the most responsive now. That right. They're, they're, you know, they're usually excellent. Every yeah, time I've ever had to personally deal with them, they're excellent. Yeah, yeah. they are. And, and even my, the, the person that works for me, Irv, has a relationship with them, but I think this mm -hmm. is where it was going back and forth with yeah. Verizon. We just got bounced around from everybody under the right. sun. And then they, every time they kept saying that they would be coming out, they, they missed like, them. Well, it was the line crews. This is where it was like there was nobody oh, could tell us the, the work orders. That we were referring to and mm. stuff. It, it, we've dealt with like five different people. Just that people have been doing for six months. So. Well, so if you can just email back to the email that you, uh, yes, you had forwarded um, to us and just ask them to confirm in sure. writing that it's been moved, that would help. <laughs> so how about, I, how about if I ask them to just say that it's been moved and it's going to be outside of the driveway? Correct. That'd be that's, perfect. That's, so I'll, I'm happy to do that. Awesome. Okay, so 27, 20. Um, Oh, we got 20, right? Yeah. I had the 20. 20 is the illicit discharges. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. She has it right there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not 20. <coughs> you want to, we got that. 14. Okay, so 16 refers to 14. So 14 and 16. And it's 14, 16. 13 C So in 14 C in the, in the blue response in that letter from from uh, Cool Breeze they said the water quality table on C2.1 has been revised for this Required water quality, proposed water quality, and water quality location. So I, I think that it, it, I believe the plans have been updated. Um, that's why I'm a little confused. Why now the 
the letter today is saying that they're not. Because um, they, in all the comments like on 13B, they say permit must change with 13. The modeling has been revised to exclude the roof drains areas modeled. So, so like John had pointed out, the plans that they reviewed in this letter was dated October 8th. So, if you have plans with a different date than October 8th, I that's not what they reviewed. I, I, my phone, I can't open the link on this. Okay. It's not, it's, I think it's too big to open, but. Um, I don't know if we, what was the one we got copied on that right i'm just reading like four comment comment 14 it says the water quality table on c 2.1 has been revised to list required uh, wq water quality proposed mm -hmm. water quality and water quality location yeah. so it's just to me I'm just my interpretation of reading this is that the plans have been updated um and then there's a link to the plans and there's a link to the report but just the, in their their verbiage, it, it appears that uh, it's you know they say it's now even on comment five and ADA parking signs now called out and shown on C one point C one point spot elevations have been added to C two point So I don't it, it, I almost feel like. But so did they add? Um, storm dis. Stormwater discharging from CB2 should be rooted through a hydrodynamic separator as well. Yes, and that, that, that was even addressed in that, that email. But so I think they're acknowledging that, that you provided some additional items, but they wanted to see it routed through this separator just like 13B. But maybe I'm wrong, but I mean, everything that Graham and Catherine wrote back here, they, they're all referring that it's been labeled on C1.0, C sliding gates have been added to C1.0. So everything, my, my brain is saying that they, they've made all these, adjusted the bypass area curve number to 98 on 12A, this change has been made. Um, 12B, revised top of dike elevation in West Pond, the type of the top of the dike elevation is now 25.24 in the West, West Pond. Revised chambers to retain a concrete, the, system, the chambers have been revised to be the retained stormwater management system. Mm -hmm. So I think the plans have been all updated, but I don't know, it doesn't appear that uh, the peer reviewer either reviewed the plans. So that's that's my question as well. Like I don't. But this was all supplied back on October seventh or eighth, October eighth. Okay, so th those are the plans that they reviewed then, October eighth. I again, it's an email from October eighth. I'm assuming that the, I just can't open the plan. It's on Dropbox. And my phone just doesn't. So I do think they are looking for additional items then. In that case. Um, are they able to add some details to show that? these items are met because um i have that 13b and c 13c well, construction again, details should be added um, again they say the revised chambers to retain a concrete system is the comment from the peer review and then and the, the cool breeze responses the chambers have been revised to be their retain its stormwater management system What number are you looking at? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, 13C. You look at the letter, right? The latest I'm letter? I'm looking at just the letter, yeah. I, I, I couldn't. Um, this letter? Right. The letter that we're looking at now? Or? I'm, no, I'm just looking um, at it on my phone. This thing, just, right? uh, oh. Because it was in blue on October 8th. She, she sent a comments. So that just basically yeah. takes all of the ones that were outstanding out of this and put them in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. But these are, <coughs> oh, excuse me what um environmental partners refers to <coughs> oh excuse me so in the email i'm scrolling even back further on october 8th at 236 that graham says that catherine in our office will be finalizing and sending you the revised plans and report which then which then we forward it on Actually, we forward on.
I have 9, 13B, 13C, 14. And 16 um, are the ones that it looks like slight changes need to be made or at least details provided on the plans. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, it looks like they're Looking for stuff. So nine. I can't find that email with Dropbox. Thirteen C, thirteen B, fourteen, sixteen. Oh, and twenty-seven. I'd like to see that these details are at least provided. Um, but not all of them. What's that? But not all of them. If you're looking at 27, there are some missing details. What's that? 27, if that's what you're looking. Yes, yeah, that, like, you know, you see like they look for on the plans, the plan details, the sections, so that you can see yeah. what it's supposed to look like. Um, and that was as of yesterday. No, well, two days ago. Yeah. So I think at this point, I think every everything's been satisfied except for Where are these cons? those six items. Um, and then you know, we've asked for the email from Middle Bar Gas and Electric. Um, we'll add condition for uh, the so, final piles. So what do we have to do? So he has to revise the plans to add these details and yeah. items, and then that's it? We just have to go back to peer review, though, right? Um, well, if, if peer review is exhausted, then... Um, you know, do we need to, do you want to send it back for, you know, do, do we need additional peer review at that point? Because, no. Well, I don't, I don't. So as they're, long just for, they're just asking for construction details, what they're so asking So as for. long as the engineer can provide these details, yeah. Yeah. we'll be yeah. okay with it. Okay. Right. So. Appreciate that. Okay. So address those six items, get those details added. Get the email from Middle Bar Gas and Electric. Um, we'll work on some standard conditions, Kathy, with a couple of conditions added, like we've mentioned for the vinyl piles, uh, similar to what conservation is saying. If any deterioration or upkeep maintenance, you know, they have to be replaced or repaired. Um, and then a condition. I just want to make sure that the ADA spot does show that it's under two percent because I didn't see that. Yeah. Uh if we could, could you just give me those numbers again? Just sure. So I, just want to, I was yep. writing down as fast as I could. Sure, yeah. Nine, yeah. 13B, 13C, 14, 16, and 27. Okay. Sure. They do have the spot elevations. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, they clouded them on the last set. Okay. Yeah, 32 and 260. Yeah, 32.98 and 32.65. I believe it's less than two percent. Okay. All right. Other than that, so we should be able to start working on a set of conditions. And gosh, 
Do we have to add this to November 14th as well? Might as well try. <laughs> um, so you think you can get those revisions by weeks. November 14th? Yeah, I think it's like three weeks actually. I think yeah, we yeah three weeks. If not, then you're going to be in December. Yeah. Because there's not there's not a yeah. second. It's not because that's Thanksgiving is the second one. Yeah. 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 I mean, it doesn't seem like I have a lot to to do. I want to take a look when I get to the office tomorrow. I'll take a look at the, um, the, the Google link and mm -hmm. okay. see if we can take a look at that. But I'll talk to you here tomorrow. Okay. And see if we can get those details for us. And okay. I don't, I don't see that, you know, nothing in here seems to be a problem from, from my perspective. Okay. You know, not, not like the, uh, the last project. Uh, <laughs> so. I mean, is it, a whole other, <laughs> whole other ball game. <laughs> so, so again, I mean, I'm, I'm amenable to all, you know, everything we've been talking about again, yeah. I think we've tried to, you know, right. I think we've worked well, it. you know, mm -hmm. I apologize for maybe not being prepared, but I just, I just, I just no, got no, the information tonight, so. It happens. Uh, nope, uh, we're all new at this. Uh, like I said, <laughs> I got 495, I'm like, oh boy, what is this, what is this? Yeah. It's like, no worries. Um, okay, so we will make a motion to continue. I'll make a motion to continue. The, um, Five Harding Street till November fourteenth at, at the public library. Yes. yes. So this it, it'll be at, corner. at the a, library. This is a big one. So yeah. So we will have um, this this um, presentations by Rhino Capital. The, the, the hospital. hospital. Yep. Yes. Exactly. So. Um, it wasn't that big. Bring a book. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually, know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll get you in there earlier. Yeah. Well. Actually. Probably put these first, the continued ones first. Yeah. yeah, and if we were doing 6.30, we could yeah, probably could get these in that. at 6.30 if you can put the Rhino at 7. That'd be good. Does yeah. 6.30 yeah. work for you? We'll do that. That's fine. Okay, okay, so we'll try to get... Road, so, it, uh, so, if you, so if you can do that, and then we can maybe put 2-4 um, Bedford yeah. at 6.30 and hopefully get them out of the way. Yeah, they may have to continue too because they, they may need... Yeah. yeah. We're waiting for stuff if, if, right. if, if Nate doesn't get yeah, right. so. Okay, so we have a motion to continue, continue this second. to November 14th at 6.30 at the library. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Appreciate motion it. carries. We will see you Thank in you. a few weeks. This will be my present for Turkey Day. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope we're done, yeah. You don't need another present. All that good. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sure you do. I, I don't want to be here for Christmas. Right, right. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. We are going to jump down to agenda item number 12. Approve the August 22 meeting minutes. Has any, everyone had a chance to review these minutes? Yes. Thank you. Any edits? Thank you. I did not have any. Nope. I didn't either. They looked good. Anybody want to make a motion? August 22nd. Thursday, August 22nd. All right, August. we have a motion. Second. And a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Um, administrative update. Kathy, do you have anything for this? I don't know. Okay, just one item real quick. I know it's getting late. Um, I did have, so we got the grant for the rules and regulations from the one stop. Mm -hmm. um, Serpid has confirmed they can do the work. However, I attended this little informational meeting on Wednesday I tried to ask a question, my internet cut out, so mm -hmm. I've got to schedule a date to actually one-on-one uh, -on -one meet with them because they did say that procurement laws apply. So we can't just say, hey, Serpid. Mm -hmm. So that's why, but there are planning and regional economic development district. Right. So I, I want to just make sure that just to we still have to go through the procurement for this and how, yeah. how, how it works if we're planning on mm -hmm. using Serpid. Um, they also gave me a timeline. So actually, I can, I can send out that presentation. I'll send that out to everybody. I got it today. Um, so okay. I'll forward it to everybody. So you can all see that. And we just want to add it to the next agenda in case we have to take a vote um, okay. how to okay. move forward. OK? Other than that, our next meeting will be November 14th. It's okay. 630. I'm sorry? I had the, we had a master plan meeting. Oh, yeah? 10 days ago. Okay. And with the select board. Yeah. And they wanted to review the goals. Yeah. Uh, and I don't, do you have a copy of those, Michelle? I don't think the rest of you do. I'll um, be glad to get, make copies for you. So you well, the goals that. are in the master plan, you mean, right? They are. But I don't know. 
If there's a spreadsheet you want to send around, that'd be great. So anyways, they wanted to know what progress we've been making mm -hmm. in getting the different boards to come in and update us. Okay. In my humble opinion, <laughs> we, haven't been, we haven't done a lot. I mean, we've had Mark. Mark came in. Mark was one of the first ones. And now I said, well, we should, you know, now schedule every month to have, or try to have every month someone else come in from representing each board. Well, that's what you're going to do. So you're going to take the information we give you and you're going to bring it back. So, Kathy, we have planning board goals on the, oh, is it next agenda? So it is on our next agenda, yeah. Jack. Yeah. So send around that spreadsheet, okay, yeah. with the goals. We'll review it, see what goals we might have, we might be working towards at this yeah. point. Or you know what ones we want to kind of put on our. Yeah, obviously, we've been very busy and bogged down with other things. But we're one of the very few boards, the committees, that even go there and they, they even know what they're doing. Yeah. And that's one of their big concerns. The select boards concerns. <laughs> well, so we can give you. We'll we'll go over that spreadsheet and then we'll give you an update next meeting yes. and then you can bring it back to master plan so yes, I will. take notes bring, next time bring I your will. notebook take the notes and then yeah. you can bring your notebook to master plan well, and kind of go yeah, they over quickly it. go through you know they yeah, yes i will once okay. once i give them our stuff they can come back to me and then i'll come back to you well yes yeah, send around the spreadsheet yeah next meeting we'll go over it yeah what we've done and you can just take down we've worked at this we're yep. working at that etc and, and I'll, then yeah, i'll bring it print back. up something and be like here to the okay Give you all the guys a copy of what I present. But Sounds good. we're vir like I said, we're virtually the only one that do does anything, even informally. Mm -hmm. They, it's like what has very little understanding of what's going on. Anyway, so that's. It. All right. Well, our next make, meeting. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I already said at the library six thirty. Um, yep. I'll make a motion to adjourn. All right, motion. Second. 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 All in favor. Aye. Aye. Aye.